All right, so I'm making homemade chicken salad. And I don't know why my camera is a little blurry, but I'm trying to get it as visible as possible. But I honestly don't think it's working out. But uh, right now, this is my meat that I just baked. This is a fresh piece of white, all white meat chicken breast. And this is a no sodium based um, recipe that I'm doing. And as you can see, my chicken is cutting perfectly. Uh, it, your chicken should not be tough. Um, I, I cooked this chicken breast in grilling foil, uh, ironically. Um, I use, whenever I use foils in the oven, I like to use the best version of foils and the best brands. So, so as I was saying previously, I like to use a good grilling for you when i'm even when i'm baking in the oven and so i use this kingsford brand grilling foil uh this is a really good foil i used to use reynolds but i discovered the kingsford and i was not aware that kingsford actually made a foil as i was only used to kingsford's um uh, the uh kingsford's um charcoal i was only familiar with them as, as it relates to charcoal so when i saw they had foil i said okay let me try that. So I be, I began to use it and I love it actually. So and it's really good for baking. It really locks in the flavors and the juices and it keeps your meats nice and tender. So definitely a recommendation on that one. Highly recommended. Um but as you can see my meat it just my knife just cuts right on through and it's nice and tender. So I so um Kingsford is a good brand of foil. I, I would again, excuse me, again I recommend that brand. Uh, whenever you are cooking in the oven and you need to bake something and you're doing a full wrapped uh, campfire style meal or just anything, you know, for that reason, I recommend that. Uh, nothing wrong with Reynolds. I would still use Reynolds, but I really like that Kingsford one. Uh, my meat, as you can see, is cutting really good. As I was stating about the steak but previously i did not put anything on this meat i put this meat in the oven it has absolutely no seasoning on it of any kind not even any fresh herbs uh this is a dish that my mom requested and so i'm making it her way that she wants it to be made you can make chicken salad your way however you wish to make it but this is a non-sodium dish uh, this is a healthier way to do it a lot of those uh, a lot of those the, the uh, chicken salad so, again, this is a non-sodium based style homemade chicken salad. And I bought this chicken breast fresh or, you know, frozen. Meaning, in other words, I did not buy some uh, or, uh, something that was like a whole rotisserie chicken that was pre-cooked at a store and then cut it up. I cooked this meat myself in the oven. And this is my foil in which I baked it. Uh, I have one piece of chicken breast left. This is a pack of three. I get these chicken breasts from Food Line. Food Line always has a really great deal on meats. And I, I, gener I generally like to shop there when I'm shopping for meats. So, because Food Line really has awesome deals as far as that goes. And they have good quality meats also. So, again, non sodium based. This is for people that are trying to really be health conscious okay so um again i bought it from food lion shout out to food lion because i do like to shop there for meats there are a lot of great stores that have a lot of great meat options that you can purchase um you know just whatever your you desire but i do shop other locations if you follow me you know i love Publix. you know i love host food and I recently began to be a fan of the Fresh Market as I didn't normally shop there. And I just recently introduced myself to the Fresh Market. So I will be kind of seeing more about them in the near future. But again, I'm making homemade chicken breast, non-sodium based. I baked this with nothing on it. Absolutely no seasonings, no fresh herbs. When I pulled it out the oven, I did rub just a little bit of olive oil on here. Only because I forgot to do that in my process. I originally had planned for the
So this is my third piece of chicken breast that came in my three pack. As you can see, that's very little um, chicken broth because this is all white meat chicken breast. So you're not going to get a whole lot of that chicken broth out of an all white meat chicken breast. It doesn't have a lot of fat on it. This is skinless chicken breast. So you're not going to get a whole lot of that. But it is still a good, great piece of meat. Again, I do buy these a lot, so I love those. Again, this is homemade, all white meat, chicken breast, uh, chicken salad that I'm preparing. A lot of people normally buy a whole chicken and cut it up, or they may use chicken thighs. I'm making a more lean style homemade chicken salad, and I'm also doing sodium free. So this is a non-sodium base. Again, if you're being health conscious, or if you are a person that conscious if you if you have health issues or if you have like diabetes and you have to watch your salt intake for that reason or or high blood pressure you know anything of that nature or even if you don't have any of those issues and you just want to watch your salt intake in general you're just one of those people you don't do a lot of salt this is definitely a good recipe option for you uh i would advise most people to make their chicken salads homemade from scratch because you avoid a lot of sodium intake even when you purchase some items at the store and it'll say no sodium or it'll have like little sodium, sometimes it's still a little too much. So if you can do it homemade, then I recommend it. If you have somebody that you're preparing food for and, you know, they request it, and I would recommend it. just buy the chicken frozen or fresh. Cook it yourself. Do not buy the pre-made whole chicken or chicken thighs or anything like that because they're going to be full of all be full of sodium. So, um, again, I'm preparing this for my mom. This was her special request, and I do a lot of no, non-sodium-based options for her. And this is something that will probably be coming soon to my business. This is not something that I'm offering to the public yet. I'm just doing this for my mom. I'm going to see how she likes it first and see if it's something that, you know, I feel like can sell. But for right now, this is just something special I'm doing for her. So, if you uh, want to make this for someone or make it for yourself, again, just buy your chicken breast and make it fresh. Don't buy anything from a deli that's already cooked. Just make it yourself. The only thing that I did was rub some olive oil on there. I used the California Olive Ranch Extra Virgin Olive Oil, which is supposed to be a pure blend. I know it, um, a lot of the olive oils have a blend of... Uh, so again, a lot of the olive oils can be a blend of uh, olive oil with canola oil or something like that. And it may not be 100% pure olive oil, but California, that California Olive Ranch brand is supposed to be a good one. Again, I'm using Kingsford Grilling Foil, Heavy Duty, which is a really great uh, foil option for baking uh, meats. Locks in the flavor, keeps it moist, and you don't have to worry about your meats drying out. It's really going to lock in the juices that you need to keep that flavor locked in and keep that meat nice and tender. So definitely want to recommend that as well. Uh, so I'm going to cut this short because I'm going to continue my process here. But I would definitely recommend making chicken salad homemade to avoid sodium.